Today I'm making a lino cut about Matthew Flinders and George Bass. These guys were explorers that were the first ones to travel all the way around Tasmania and map it in a boat. I paint the lino red and the reason I do this is because the lino itself is sort of like a, a grey, a, a light grey. When you carve it away, there's a lighter grey inside, but there's not a lot of difference between the actual colour of the lino and what you cut away. Some people have painted their linos black and carved away so they can see exactly what happens. I've noticed when I went to America, I was talking to a lot of the woodcut artists, and they paint their wood red. So I thought I'd give that a go. What I find about red is it's quite a good colour because you can ink over top of the red, you can really see your lines really well and then when you carve away you can see the whiteness of the lino really well as well. So it makes it very easy to think about after you've done your artwork and remember any lettering you have to do in reverse as well, all you have to do is cut away the red and that kind of is just makes it even easier in your head. I sort of had it pretty well worked out before, but this just makes the whole job that much more easier. So that's why I paint red first. Okay, so now today's the day I'm going to do a demonstration in front of people of this lino cut that I've just done. Uh, it's got to work because you feel really stupid when it doesn't. So let's get into it and hope for the best. After that test print on the Spirit of Taz, I realised I have to carve away a little bit more of the wombat. And of course this is what we do test prints for, so we can sort of see what we have to do and what we can alter. The next step is to do a nice big print on some good paper. I'm just going to pull the proof on this and I'm going to hand colour this. I'll probably just do a one off uh, because I'm not really interested in doing a whole series, I might do one or two. Uh, what I'm interested in is the actual effect that printmaking gives because printmaking looks like nothing else. I couldn't paint this or draw this as well as I could uh, print it. There's some magic about the lino cut. Hand colouring is something that uh, printmaking snobs really frown upon in the 20th century. However, in the couple of centuries before that, it was a common practice. So it's hard to fathom why something so traditional is frowned upon. I can kind of understand because it takes a lot of skill to do colour separations and to actually do the prints by colour. And I can see in the 20th century people are looking at the skill. 
but at the end of the day I'm just happy to get a nice picture and so here it is can't quite get it all in camera shot because it's a good size print so I'll show you there that's what it looks like all up and let's have a few close-ups See if you can sort of see some of the animals. Oh, well, there's a couple of humans. There's our wombat there. There's the echidna. There is just here a blue wren. I put some of that orange lichen around to try and make it show out. And of course, there's my beautiful tiger snake. And underneath is a white skink. These are all animals that you find around coastal areas in Tasmania. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and check out some of my other printmaking videos. I'll leave them right here. There they are.